This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm on their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson analog input. Let's see what we got. Make a thermometer app. While the light and sound sensors have just a raw file with the value property, a raw value with the value property, the temperature sensor is a little smarter, a little bit smarter. Ooh. Instead of temp sensor dot value, there are two properties, temp sensor dot F and temp sensor dot C, ooh, for Fahrenheit and Celsius, which convert the raw input value to either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Do this, make a simple thermometer app that reads the values of temp from the temperature sensor. Your app can display the temperature in either Fahrenheit or Celsius or both. Oh, I bet I'm going to do both. Using design mode, create a button that for updating and a label for updating and a label to display the temperature. Add an event handler to respond to the update button being clicked. Cool. This is kind of fun. All right. So we need a button that's um I'm going to call this temp temperature ah uh, temp button we'll say and then the button title will be temperature i know i'm deeply creative cool i'm just going to make that a little larger i don't want to use the default color so i'm just going to change that up real quick sure that color is fine all right and now we want to display with a label so my ID for my button is temp button. We're going to need to know that for the on click event. Uh, and this, this is going to be, I'm going to say, uh, this will be Fahrenheit. So F and then temp for me, I'm naming it. And the text, will, I'm just going to say, um, we'll just do the first few letters so I can see what it looks like. Uh, let's do 40. It's just going to be a number. How about 48? Okay. And then I am going to do both of them with Celsius. So I'm going to duplicate this, pull it down, and name this one C temp. And Celsius for its temporary name. Cool. That looks good to me. I could add labels over here to them as well, but we don't need it that complicated. So now I'm going to do an on event, like it says. Now, when do I want to, these temperatures to update? Well, on the event of this button being clicked. So my button ID was temp button, because that's what I chose. So temp button. And then when it is clicked, I'll leave that. When it's clicked, run this code. Now, what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to set the properties, remember, because we're going to grab some info from our express board and change stuff here. So what do I want to change? I want to set the property of the F temp and then set the property of this Celsius with the ID of C temp. So I'm going to grab two set properties and I want to change the F temp and what part of it? Well, I want to change the text of what that is. And then C temp, and what part? Well, I want to change the text of what that is. Now, what do I want to change the text to? I want to change it to the board's Celsius and Fahrenheit temperatures. So this will give us the Fahrenheit temperature from our board. The computer will say, okay, set the property of F temp, which it will go, oh, what's that? This. Okay, well, what am I setting? Oh, the text. So I'm going to change the text. What am I going to change the text to? Hey, Hey, uh, Express Chip, what is the Fahrenheit temperature? And it gets that and changes it. That's pretty much the same thing that's happening with Celsius. So, let's give it a shot. But, uh, 75? It's not that warm in my house. Oh, this thing's under a light. It's under a light. That would make sense. <laughs> cool. Let's see if it gets any different. Or would move it, but it's like taped down. Yep, not changing. All right. Cool, though. Um...
Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.